This is Neil Turbin from The Metal Voice and with Mr. Steve Vai. It's so awesome to see you, Steve. Thank you, Neil. I saw you at the Alcatraz rehearsal at Nietzsche, uh, the studios, back in like the 80s. Oh, boy, yeah. With Gary Shea, who was a friend of mine. We were, yeah. we were next door neighbors. And uh, then I went to see you guys uh, when you are playing with Graham at the Santa Monica Civic. I'm pretty sure it was you, or was it not you? Not the Santa Monica Civic. Okay. I never played there. Okay, before. that must have been yeah. Danny. Yeah, Danny Johnson, Danny, yeah. but but I loved your version with Alcatraz. The songs were. Oh, thank you. To I enjoyed me, that too. To me, that was like another level. But you told me that you know John Sombrato. I know John Gas. I didn't know his last name Sombrato, but yeah. I knew him when he was uh, driving his motorcycle, hanging out in Hermosa Beach at the pier yeah. before they gentrified the Hermosa Beach pier. Yeah. And um, this is back in like um, I moved to Hermosa back in 1989, so I knew him right around that time frame. Mm -hmm. He was recording with you, and he would always talk about it and say, wow, you know, I'm recording with Steve Vai. Yeah, well, Dick Gash was a really good friend of mine. We used to go riding all the time, and because I was really into the Harley culture. And I wanted to make a record of music that we could listen to on the Harley that gave you that, you know, that freedom, that feeling. And I did. It took like a week or so, and I recorded it, and I didn't even know that Gash could sing. And, but I could hear something in his voice, and I brought him into the studio, and I just couldn't believe what came out of his mouth. It's amazing. I mean, amazing. And you know him. He was... Great person. Very great guy. Charisma. Charisma. Crazy. Unpredictable. Funny and lovable. So... Uh, yeah, I miss him, too. That comes out tomorrow. Congratulations. I sat on the shelf for 32 years. I'd love to talk to you more about uh, Gash, but I wanted to also ask you about your tour mm -hmm. in uh, Europe. You're going to be heading out? Yeah, I had out, and we did two two legs already. The first leg was Europe, second leg was America, and now we go to Eastern Europe for a couple of months, and then we do America again for a couple of months, and then it's the rest of the world, South America, Mexico, Australia, New Zealand, Indonesia, Japan, China, Africa, and India. A few little, if China's open. A few little neighborhoods. <laughs> and a couple and of, it's Christmas again. A couple of other quick ones. So, um, you... You also uh, did a tour recently with uh, someone that I actually had an opportunity to play with a couple of times, Larry Mitchell, oh, amazing yeah, guitar yeah. player, great, amazing person. Oh, great, amazing guy, great player, dear brother. Yeah. Yeah, he opened up some of our shows. Great guy. Great guy. I love his playing, too. Amazing. And, um, and I had a question for you at, uh, regarding, remember the Ultimate Jam Night? There was a get-together with the David Lee Roth Band, and um, it, was, it, oh, did, yeah, it, it yeah, didn't happen. The, over at the Lucky Strike. But you were there, weren't you? You were yeah. in the backstage and, it, and the fire department shut it down? Well, I was standing out in, on the stage with the curtain, just about to hit the first court, the Yankee Rose, oh. when they shut it down. Ouch. Yeah. And Dave, Dave Lee Roth was there. Yeah. He was waiting for me to hit the court. Wow. And then when, I, when we couldn't play, I had to go back and say, Dave, this thing, it's not going to happen because oh. the, uh, the fire marshal is here. They, it's a, it's a madhouse. And he goes, perfect. <laughs> we'll get more press out of it by not playing than by playing. Ouch. And man, was he right. <laughs> wow. Well, Steve, I know you got to get to your, your yeah. wife. And Thanks it's such so a much. pleasure, man. My pleasure right, and an honor for me to speak with you here. Right. And congratulations.